Good evening. News 13 has learned that Intel has cleared a major hurdle that could lead to a bigger plant and more jobs soon. Today, the state approved Intel's request for new air permits, but not everyone is cheering. Here's News 13's Jessica Gatte. An environmental group believes a bigger Intel just means more pollution, but the state disagrees, and it believes it just means more high paying jobs sends a very positive sign that New Mexico is open for business. Rio Rancho's economic development director Noreen Scott hopes the new air quality permit will lead to an Intel expansion. And she may be right. Sources tell News 13 that the permits approved by the state environment department this afternoon begins to clear the way for more construction at the Rio Rancho Intel plant, which is already home to 3,300 workers. Sources say a multi-billion dollar expansion is in the works that could add hundreds of jobs. Intel would not confirm that plans are already on paper, but released a statement to News 13 today saying, quote, while Intel has not announced plans to expand its New Mexico facility, approval of Intel's permit revision helps preposition the site for future growth. This afternoon, Governor Susana Martinez touted the speed of the permit approvals. This is a prime example of cutting red tape while providing a great deal of public input and ensuring the responsible protection of our environment. But the group Corrales Residents for Clean Air and Water believes that's a stretch. Not surprised at all and probably will never be surprised at the New Mexico Environment's Department's support of Intel. The group claims the emissions and byproducts of the 30-year-old facility already contribute to higher cancer rates in Corrales. But Intel and the state and the local economic development director say Tests show the plant meets environmental standards. I personally believe that Intel is a green company. Intel held two public open houses in the past two months to address concerns. Those meetings got very heated between Corrales residents and Intel engineers. Diane? Okay, Jessica. An Intel spokesman says the State Department of Health is looking into the environmental group's claims that the plant is making neighbors sick. The blame game is heated.